morning guys. A friend of mine, Bruce Ian, uh, came up with an offensive concept called the Flying V and uh, challenged some of us to defend it. So instead of an offensive video, I'm going to do a defensive video today. I'll show you the different defensive alignments I would utilize against a Flying V. Now the first one is a uh, bear look against the V. As you notice, three and four are where the girds would be. And he, Bruce, bumps out the offensive guards and tackles to the outside of three and four to create this different look. Now, I have the nose covering the center, the tackles are covering three and four, and my two inside linebackers are going to be covering the guards in this case. My two outside linebackers are shaded past the corners, and they are aligned over the tackles, and my two corners are going to be covering X and Y. Now the strong safety in this alignment is the middle linebacker, and they got the free safety deep. The second formation is a 3-4 cover 2. Now the ends are covering the tackles like they would in a normal set. The nose is covering the center. The two inside linebackers are shaded inside and they are man to man against 3 and 4 and my two outside linebackers are covering the guards. Free safety and strong safety are deep and the corners are manned up against X and Y. The third defensive set is a 4-3 with the strong safety rotated down. Corners are up against X and Z. Ends are covering the tackles. My defensive tackles are shaded inside the guards in between the gap between the guards and your 3 and 4 running back. Now, I have two linebackers shaded over 3 and 4. Strong safety is shaded in between defensive tackle and defensive end, and the backside linebacker is shaded in between an end and defensive tackle. Free safety is deep. Now, this is a 4 3. Now, if you notice this, what I do is instead of manning up against the man, I go by original alignment of where you would line up. So what I do is I have my defensive tackles cover three and four, which would be in the place of the guards. My defensive ends are covering the guards, but they are lined up where the offensive tackles would be. I got a linebacker and a strong safety. Then I got a corner covering X and a corner shaded to the outside of strong safety cover Z. I got the stack backers inside. And I got a free safety deep. Now, here's a 3-4 cover 2. They are lined up like they would in a normal 3-4. They are taking their original alignments based on the alignment of the offense of where it would be in an original look instead of being bumped out. So the nose is covering the center, backers are covering three and four, ends are covering the guards. You get two backers shaded to the inside of X and Z and the outside offensive tackles. Corners are shaded just to the outside of X and Z and you got your free safety and song safety stacked behind the linebackers in that gap. And then a bear look to close out the video. Now I have the two defensive ends covering three and four. The nose is covering the center. Backers are covering the outside tackles and my inside backers are shaded over the guards. Strong safety is again the middle linebacker. Free safety is deep and my corners are manned up against X and Z. My apologies for that loud nut. Now, those are the different defensive looks that you can utilize against a flying bee. Now, it's just like playing against a single wing, double wing, stuff like that when they do unbalance. Just find 
where your middle man is in a line like that. Remember, don't fall for the illusions. Just stay calm, write it down, and then study it, and then you can find where your middleman is, and then go from there. And that way you can set up a defensive strategy against it and not worry about falling for the shiny hellos that they try and give you. Anyway, guys, that's the defensive strategy I would utilize against the Flying V. If you run into it, here's some concepts that can work for you by defending against it. As always, guys, keep coaching.